Welcome to episode twelve sixty seven. Ted Leonsis, nine lessons. It's an outline of episode twelve sixty seven. Lesson one to five. This is lesson six to nine. Lesson one. Your parents programmed you the wrong way. So I had been trained, like I'm sure most of you in this room, I was programmed incorrectly work really, really hard, get good grades. Good grades are a currency. If you get good grades, you'll get a good job. And if you get a good job, you'll make a lot of money. Lesson two, he was a prodigy businessman at age 26. The Leonsis Index to Software Technology. It's a TV guide about the software business. It's profitable very quickly. I sold it for $60 million, 26 years old. I declared victory. Lesson three, he's generally considered one of the founding fathers of the internet age. AOL's instant messenger, AIM, which was Twitter before there was Twitter. We had 300 million people using the product. We never spent a penny in marketing. We invented viral marketing. Inspired Mark Zuckerberg, he hacked in the aim. That's how he created Facebook. Lesson four, The Business of Happiness. This is a book he wrote after a near-death experience. People who are happy have great qualities of relationships with their, their husbands, their wives, their friends, their children, their coworkers. They're incredibly productive, incredibly positive impact on the communities that they're in service to. They have longevity, they have the best sex lives. If you're happy, you'll live longer and you'll have more orgasms. That's, <laughs> no, that's true. Lesson five, invest in double value business. Businesses, but businesses with a double bottom line that can do really well by doing good for people, consumers, or their community. Double bottom line is businesses that um, do well by doing good. Lesson six, what is an entrepreneur? For an entrepreneur, and that's the formula for being an entrepreneur. It's an individual um, experience that comes from having high levels of self-expression, really a chip on your shoulder, wrong point of view, and it's powered a lot by this fundamental belief that you can do something better than someone else. Lesson seven, going global with eSports. Generation, the Gen Z, who will never get cable, who want to interact with entertainment and stars, and we're leaders in eSports. Uh, how, how big do you It is think? going to superset, as it started globally. It didn't start in North America or Canada. It's, uh, it's something that started globally. Lesson A, diversification into real estate. Now owns three sports venue, Capital One Arena, Metstar Capital's Ice Plaque, and Eagle Bank Arena of George Mason University. Lesson nine, from English major to tech giant. And I remember Father Durkin said to me, um, I think this is the first time where liberal arts and technology have come together. A couple of years ago, I had one of these goosebumpy moments because I was reading Walter Isaacson's book on Steve Jobs and they asked Steve Jobs, why is Apple the world's most valuable company? He said, Apple's the place where liberal arts and technology come together. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.